this out. I've never seen one of these, but it's a red grasshopper. How wild is that? Ooh. All right, so I bought too many fish at this convention, at this event. What do I do? This is what I did. I wish I had aquariums that way I could visualize them better, but if you don't have aquariums, this is something you can do. And even if you don't have the containers I have, dude, there's so many small containers out there. Use your ingenuity. You'd be surprised what you can make up. And also in this video, we're gonna take some fish for a walk. May not always have tank space, so I hope this video helps some of you guys. And plus, there's some cool fish in it. And these guys get to retire QT. Go out to the barn. Had to show you in the sunlight. Look at them. Love when sunlight gets on fish. Look at them from this side. Different, a little different. Mm -hmm. See some of their spots. Well, I was going to pour these in here, but look at these guys. I'm totally breeding. Let me pull them out too. For now, these guys are going to go in here. Put them in gentle. They're going to get a bigger home here soon, hopefully. Because I had another epiphany, which will be a cool video here in the future. So subscribe if you want to see it, even though you don't know what it is. I traded some of those fish for some Daphnia. Yeah, and a couple shrimp. Some tapas. QT time. Time to get them out of these bags and into their bass. Type in LRB Aquatics Fish Bass on a YouTube search. There you go. You'll find a video plus a bunch of other videos that are awesome to watch if you're into this stuff. So check them out. Now on to the quick quarantine temporary setup. And I got some aquarium water with a bunch of algae covered plants because I could split that up. And since it won't have much light, maybe I'll lose some algae. Fish will like that either way. But let me run through these and I'll show you. Luckily the hose barely reached. Fill that up. That way I can slide the tubs back over there. You get the big fish first. Put some greenery in there. Got some seasoned water in there with that fresh water. It's ready. Quarantine. I'm bathed up. The blue glorious are looking good. Give them some plants and algae here. Right, real quick, run through the quarantine. I know it doesn't look pretty, but it's temporary for now because this is what I had around the house and for the bigger squads of fish. Now these are smaller, I know there's not a whole lot to them, but it's got killifish in them. They feel cozy in these kind of spaces. What's up, little buddy? Kinda love that one, he's gonna be personable. It's a blue Glorus de Salsa strain. Wish I could get to the side of them, but that glare. The enemy of us fish tubers is that glare. Buddy, beautiful blue glars. Mm, Swapper is showing up. Hardest part is, do I share these or do I keep them? Of course, the dirty front. Yes, I wish that front was cleaner, but that's from old labels when I got them. Look at that fish, beautiful. I don't know, pan checks, the so walker eye, male, female here. You see the female's not as colorful, but those males, really brilliant. We got walker eye, Epsium, GHGA. I am not seeing these. I don't want to disturb them too much right now. Either know these fish or you don't kind of thing. You shouldn't probably get them if they're on my website and you don't know them. If you do know them, do your thing. Braid them up. Come here, fella. Kind of skittish. That's why I don't want to mess with them too much. He's hiding in there. Stress them out. There's some Crevinanus. Finfita. These are really cool. We've got the uh, Nimbas. What were those Nimbas? Oh. Nimba Pancheks, Peter's Eye, Banco Park from Jack Heller. If you guys have not seen my Jack Heller Killy Fish Room Tour, definitely recommend checking it out. That's a female, big chunky female. But she's actually got a lot of color and pattern to her. Being a female. The male, where are you? It hides so well. You see I got Daphnia in there with them. They do like their Daphnia. Nimba. Oh, there's a male. He came out. Do have quite a few of those, whole row of those. So I'll be sharing those Nimbas. Emphysemian against, uh, Emphysemian, however you pronounce that, at the GHP 80 24. Casing collection. Female back there. 
And then there's the male. Beautiful blue and red fish. We got an Amphisemian Eserichi, FCCO 2013-14. Oh, sorry. There he is, he's actually out. Oh man, you can barely see him. And we got the Amphisemian Rod Eye, Mabanga, JVC 1724. A little female right there. Where's the male? Rod eyes are really cool. I'm pretty sought after. Oh crap, almost got that in there. Definitely gonna wanna get there. Get that in there and wake. If I get proper, I need to get some proper tops for these. Yeah, let me get some proper top. And for the big fish, or bigger groups of fish, I've got some Madagascar. These come from Ray Aquatics. Big shout out to Robert from Ray's Aquatics. Some Madagascars running around there. If you notice, I got the Catapa leaf. That helps with funguses and bacteria. It's just natural form. Here's some fish. Just grabbed algae covered plants, threw them in here with these guys. Hopefully the algae will die, they can eat off of it. There's snails. These are Melanotania Kiru Goldii. Here we got some C. Alani, somewhere hiding down there. You can see them underneath the plant. Top of them makes a good cover too for them. Then here I actually got some cichlids. Got the daffodils. Neolamprologus. You see one in the corner there. Couple. And unfortunately in here I had some, well I guess I do still got a catfish. I did lose a couple of these for some reason. You see them in the middle there. I don't know why, but I did lose a couple of these. There's Daphne in there. I'll have to keep an eye on these guys. And then in here, I've right got some little young panda gars. How tiny these things are. Shallow. This was old, had a lot of biofilm in it, so it was perfect for them. And in here I've got an Amphisemian Campiensis. And this is just the male. Oh, whoa, look at all these baby fish. Oh. Holy crap, see that? Oh. I bet you those are baby rainbows come off this algae. Oh, look in there, what's that you see them? On the top, ton of them. Little baby fish. Oh my goodness. Well, that happened. I we'll had to deal with that. And then we've got blue glars here. There's a female. There's a male. Female, I think they're hungry. I can give her some more water. Blue glars from Art Hemmerlin. That's Dave's brother. Some golden water killie fish here. Got a couple pairs of those. those. Those are actually the first fish I ever bred, so I've always had a place in my heart. And down here, got me more blue glorus. I'm gonna give them a top off. I did keep the water level low because I was adding Daphnia. When you add Daphnia, you add water. But uh, they're, they're definitely hungry right now. The reason why I might, wanted to make this video, I know they would be up front looking to eat. Time to feed them. Oh yeah, they hungry. Sarah's working on her plants, but I got some water here sitting. Easy out of here. And these fish have been in here for two weeks now. You can see the plants don't really need that much light. They don't have a light. It's just ambient. We got Anubias. We got Rotalia in there. Uh -huh. And if you guys are into plants, check out Lady LRB. Also, I have her plants on LRBAquash.com. Not put my face in there. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Wesley! <laughs> do it! Do it! I didn't show you guys these down here. Put in a little pan checks, the low. Here's the female hiding underneath the catapa leaf. And of course, the male hiding under the catapa leaf. That's a Daphne in there. More babies. Ah, oh, babies everywhere. And more babies. Hardest part is having space for babies. Forgot I had this twin wall polycarbonate. This, this will make good lids for my quarantine. Well, I hope you guys like this video and maybe help some of you guys. On the next video, we'll go ahead and update this quarantine. We'll show you its evolution, also some more fish because we love fish. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. That way you'll be able to see that video. Stay up to date. We're coming out with a ton of videos here trying to rebuild and reconnect. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the like button. That'd be awesome and help. And also kindly share it to those that you may think be interested in it. So until next time, peace everybody. Have a great one. See you on the next one.